Creatine supplementation, maximum recovery from fractures and sprains. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Our topic today is creatine supplementation in the rehabilitation of fractures and with limb immobilization. So previously we've seen studies where if a person broke their leg, for instance, and they're in a cast, giving them creatine supplementation while they're in a cast has been shown to reduce the amount of atrophy or, or uh, shrinkage of the muscles during that period of immobilization. Not every study has shown that. But in 2001, there was a study in the Journal of Physiology that was most impressive. It showed the importance of using creatine during the rehabilitation phase. Once the fracture, or once the cast comes off the limb, once the person's out of the sling, or once they've had you know, surgery for rotator cuff injuries and they can move their limbs again, that with the standard exercise protocol they give the patient, if they give them also creatine supplementation, that those are the patients that have the fastest recovery. They gain muscle strength and muscle size back much faster than the group that just does the exercise. And they gain muscle uh, mass back to a point that's greater than they had prior to having the cast on or being in the sling. And their strength came back very quickly. So now they, what they studied also was that, you know, what muscle fibers within the muscle group were responding. The creatine was helping both the fast twitch muscle fibers and the slow twitch muscle fibers in the same muscle group. So the slow twitch muscle fibers are your aerobic fibers. They're more involved in endurance activity. Whereas your fast twitch fibers are more your explosive power uh, muscle fibers that uh, help give you generate power very quickly. So both types of, uh, of fitness and muscle um, uh, rejuvenation were occurring in, in the fast and slow twitch muscle fibers as well as what we call the intermediate muscle fibers which are the ones depending on how you train you can take the intermediate fiber and make it act more like a fast twitch or a slow twitch based on the type of training that you do. We also saw for the first time there was a suggestion in this study that creatine was having an effect on what's called the myogenic growth factors. These are little proteins inside the cell that, that promote the anabolic effect to gain the muscle back because there'd been some debate about how does creatine increase muscle size. It enables you to train harder because it gives you some high octane fuel, but it also has some effects on, on the signal molecular uh, events within the cell that are stimulating anabolic growth in a very natural way. So the problem as I see it is that many medical doctors are not familiar with this research. A lot of orthopedic surgeons don't really emphasize supplements. Physiotherapists sometimes are not up to speed on this. So they often don't recommend sub, uh, creatine for recovery. And, and you know, in the medical field, there's, there tends to be a general bias against supplementation that starts right in medical school. So this is really a mistake and it's unfortunate because the faster the limb recovery occurs, uh, the better the athlete can return to their competitive state and get back on the field or into the game again. And creatine supplementation is proving to be invaluable in that regard. But even for the average person that breaks an arm or breaks a leg or their arms in a sling for, for a period of time and that must, there's muscle atrophy that occurs, getting them returned to a functional life as quickly as possible is highly advantageous for them. And as the muscle strength comes back, there's less chance there's gonna be another musculoskeletal problem in that area. And also if they can exercise it and get the strength back, less chance of osteoporosis occurring as well. So to really understand this, click on the link below. You can read my short review article on this subject. If you know anyone who's in a cast, or they're in a sling, or they're waiting surgery for a torn rotator cuff tendon, they can't move their shoulder very well, and, and muscle atrophy is occurring, send this video to them so they can see what they might want to uh, include as part of their overall rehabilitation process. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers and footage from my live professional seminars. Other downloads and resources and videos I've created, they're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references, so you'll see you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.